Northwest Georgia Media would like to say thank you to the following sponsors. Mathis Trailer and Equipment, Georgia Highlands College, Snodgrass and Robinson, Plastic Surgery Specialists, WC Timber, Dogwood Books, Shannon Pharmacy, and Crestview Angus. Thank you to all our sponsors for making this broadcast possible. Access to me means I get to explore and define myself. Access that allows me to follow my passion. For me, it means I get to do what I've always dreamed of doing, helping people. Access to me means I'm the first one in my family to come to college. Sé el primero. Introducing the new Onward High Performance Lithium Ion Personal Transportation Vehicle from Club Car. When it comes to style, power, and performance, look no further. The Onward HP Lithium Ion exceeds expectations with impressive hill climbing performance and high power acceleration. No other vehicle in the industry can compete. Our automotive quality, self-contained battery is protected by a corrosion-resistant and watertight steel case. This state-of-the-art battery is maintenance-free. And with an industry-leading six-year battery warranty, you can rest easy knowing your Onward HP Lithium-Ion is ready when you are. Welcome to the next era of club car innovation. WC Timber has been serving the Northwest Georgia and Northeast Alabama area since 1991. As a complete tree and timber service, WC Timber can handle thinning and clear cutting, tree chipping, stump removal, and storm damage, as well as bucket truck and crane services. For more information, visit them on the web at wctimber.com or give them a call at area code 706-238 one two one four WC Timber and Tree Service At Northwest Georgia Media we're all about capturing the moments that matter to you from sports to arts from concerts to business events we're equipped to share what's happening in your world live and in high definition we leverage cutting-edge technology and a knowledgeable crew to see that your most unforgettable events remain just that unforgettable You've got the graphics at a high level, ESPN style, scoreboard angles, instant replay, anything you would expect to see on a, a regular broadcast, we're getting in a high school ball game. They're set up, you wouldn't even know that they're even in the building. You just trust that they're getting the job done. Northwest Georgia Media, where the world is your audience. Welcome back to Woodard Gymnasium. Jeff Gable with you with the entire Northwest Georgia media team. 
great group of folks that we enjoy working with, and we appreciate all of our sponsors as well being a part of these game broadcasts as we get ready for the model Blue Devils taking on the Fannin County Rebels. First, a little bit of uh, housekeeping from the girls' game. Toward the end of the game there in the fourth quarter, I credited one too many free throws to Julia Schinholster. Uh, so she finished the night hitting three of four down in that fourth quarter. So your final was 52 to 42, not 53 to 42. So that was your final, a 10 point game, 52 42. Big win for uh, Coach Sally Eccles. And so now the uh, Blue Devils will take the floor against Fanning County. Fanning County comes in two and one on the year. They uh, lost at Pickens County to start the year, but they've beaten Gordon Central and Lumpkin County since then. And the model boys come in at one and two. They beat Temple on Friday night. That was their first win. We were here for that one. And uh, they are still getting some, uh, some guys worked in from the uh, football program that uh, just joined the team a couple of weeks ago. As we mentioned, the model football team reached the second round of the state playoffs. So they had some guys like Jeremiah's Hurd and Riley Chapman and a couple other guys who are just now getting worked in to the basketball program. Again, had a good conversation with Jeff Honeycutt uh, halftime of the girls game and uh, hopefully, he said, there will be several model guys recognized when the all-region football teams are announced this week. So here for the uh, model and Fanning County game, they're about to announce the starting lineups. First for the visiting Fanning County Rebels, coached by Brian Richardson. Spoke with him a little bit there pregame. Uh, great guy. His son is on the team as well, Jordan Richardson. He's one of the starters. As they're announced right now, Ben Block. Ben Blotch, excuse me, is the uh, other starter, along with Matthew Ponson and Colton, Colton Kaler and Cole Gribble. That's your starting five for Fanning County. And model, it will probably be the same starting five as the other night. Stevie Dallas, I believe, is going to be one of the guards. Number 11, along with Noah Travis, number 14. Riley Chapman, also a starter, number 15. His model runs his three-guard offense a lot of times on the perimeter. Chase Allen and Jeremiah Hurd are your two post guys underneath. Chase Allen, I was impressed with him on Friday. He played really well against Temple. Very active rebounder, very quick hands. That's one of the things that Coach Travis said after the game is he was impressed about how his guys kind of getting better at the transition game, turning defense into offense. So he's hoping to see more of that throughout the season. Filling out my scorebook here real quick. Going to be just numbers for a second. I didn't have time to write down the names. That's what people don't realize. When you have a color, color analyst, they can sit there and chatter away for a while and the play-by-play -play guy can, I don't know, make notes in the notebook, make a sandwich, whatever they like to do. Harder to do when you're a single broadcaster as Fanning County wins the tip Ben Block has it, gets it to Matthew Ponson and they're going to run their offense as model comes out in a man-to-man -man defense. Back to Richardson. They go underneath. Shot it by Block is Partially blocked by Model. Noah Travis comes out of the pack with it. Drives, left-handed layup is good. So Noah Travis puts Model up early, 2-0. Block has it for Fanning County. Back to Ponson. They kind of run a three-guard set as well. Kaler lost the ball, and it will be, it actually went off of, I believe, Chase Allen. So it'll stay Fanning County basketball. Colton Kaler and Cole Gribble are your two post players for Fanning County. They get a high screen for Richardson. Now back to Richardson. Again, that's Coach Brian Richardson's son as he drives. Short jumper over Jeremiah's herd, missed. 
The rebound shot also missed. I believe that was by Kaler, and Model comes away with the loose ball. Travis gets it to Allen. Now to Dallas. Back to Travis. They look inside, nothing there. And they work it around the perimeter. Jeremiah's Hurd comes out on the high post, gives it underneath to Allen, and his bank shot is good. And it's 4 0 model. As Chase Allen gets his first bucket of the game, Richardson gives it over to Block. His shot, a three pointer, is good. So Ben Block gets a three pointer. And it is 4 3. Loose ball is picked up by Fanning County, and the Rebels come the other way. This is the first time they've kind of run a break here. As Kaler, his three-pointer is no good. Dallas stretches and gets the rebound, and he's going to lead the break up the floor. Dallas goes to the right, now back to Allen. Now to Travis. Dallas underneath to Allen. His left-handed layup is good. Chase Allen gets another one. And it's 6-3, model leads. Ponton with the ball, tries to get it to Richardson. Almost stolen by Chapman. Riley had some quick hands there. Colton Kaler gives it up to Block. Block gives it to Ponton. And now loose ball in the lane as Gribble tries to pick it up. Covered by Hurd. Kicks it out to Block. His pass to Gribble. Tries to work underneath and somehow gets it to go. Cole Gribble got the layup to go. And it's a 6-5 game. Travis works it over to Dallas. Now back to Allen. At the free throw line, he kicks it out to Travis, who fires a three, and it's good. Noah Travis finds the range. And it is 9-5. Model has a lead. Jordan Richardson gets a high screen from Gribble. Covered tightly by Chapman. Pulls up for a jumper. Off the mark, no good. Somehow Fanning County got the rebound. Loose ball tipped away. Now Dallas has it from Model. They want to run. They get it to Travis. His layup is no good. But Allen gets the rebound and puts it back. Chase Allen off to a good start. And it's 11-5. Model leads. Six points for Allen. Five points for Travis. Ponson pulls up for a step back jumper. No good. Missed the mark. Hurd gets the rebound, gives it up to Travis. And the Blue Devils going to run here. Dallas fires up a three, and it's good. Stevie Dallas gets in the scoring column with a long three-pointer. And Coach Richardson and Fanning County call a timeout at the 4.07 mark. His model is putting on a clinic here early offensively. They've done it inside with Chase Allen. They've done it outside with Dallas and Travis. And Fannin County just doesn't have an answer. It's almost like they're moving in slow motion. Model is just moving so quickly on the offensive end. Again, Model had a big win the other night against Temple for their first win of the year. They lost to uh, Landmark and uh, North Murray in the first two games of the year, but they bounced back against Temple. Trying to win two in a row here. They've got the Murray County Indians coming in here on Friday night. A couple of non-region games next week, and then the uh, Rome Rotary, Seven Hills Rotary Club Christmas Tournament starts next Friday. The I believe that's the 14th, if I'm not mistaken, or 15th. And so we'll be uh, over at our Murchie High School and Berry College for that tournament. Be fun to watch those as well. As Fanning County works it around, again, modeling that tight man-to-man -man defense. Blotch can't... Uh, Shake the defender, but he does put up a nice short jump shot, and Ben Blotch hits a jumper to make it 14-7. Chase Allen scores again. Chase Allen having a really good first quarter. And at the 3.30 mark, Model is up 16-7. Richardson has the ball, gets a high screen from Isaiah Angel, just checked in a minute ago. Pass in the lane, though, is stolen away by Allen. And he gets it to Noah Travis. Travis to Allen. Kicks it out to Dallas. Fires up a three. In and out, no good. But Model gets the rebound. Saved by Bryson Denson. He gets it to Travis. Back to Dallas. Inside to Hurd. Jeremiah lays it up good. Jeremiah. 
And Jeremiah gets his first bucket of the game. It is 18-7 as Fanning County works it around the perimeter looking for something. Kaler gets it into Angel. His shot hits the side of the backboard no good. And Noah Travis collects the rebound. And he'll bring it up the floor. Gets a high screen from Hurd. Pulls up for three. Off the mark, no good. Rebounded by Colton Kaler. Blotch has it, turns the corner on Denson. Puts up a shot, no good. Rebounded by Chase Allen. Fannin County just can't buy a rebound right now. Model size advantage is definitely playing into that factor here. Chase Allen pulls up for three, no good. Rebounded by Richardson. And he will bring it up the court. Model already up 11 points here in the first quarter. Richardson gets a high screen, pulls up for a jumper, good. And Richardson makes it 18 to nine. Denson fires a skip pass to Travis. Drives left-handed, turns the corner, almost lost a handle, but saved it to Denson. Dallas has it, now heard. He's gonna shoot a three and misses, rebounded by Richardson. Model up 18 to nine. High screen, Richardson didn't take it, gives it up to Blotch. Now they look for Angel underneath, but nothing there. Blotch keeps it, now gives it to Angel. His turnaround, one-handed jumper, no good off the side of the rim. And Bryson Denson collects the rebound. Bryson impressed me the other night, just a freshman. Good court awareness. Travis feeds it into Jeremiah's herd. Turns the corner in the lane, lays it up off the rim, no good. Rebound by Angel. They kick it out to Richardson on the right wing. Richardson drives, spins on Travis, and gets a nice jumper. That's, that was good defense by Noah. That was just a really good play by Richardson. And it's 18-11. That ball is turned over, and Fanning County comes out of the pack with it. Kaler feeds it to Blotch. He pulls up, free throw line jumper. Back of the rim, no good. Noah Travis gets the rebound. Back the other way, Dallas gives it to Hurd. Thought about a three, didn't do it. Gives it to Denson. Now to Travis. He drives baseline and got knocked to the floor. No call, but Jeremiah's Hurd tips it in, and Noah Travis a little shaken up there. 20 to 11 as Travis kind of hobbles over to the bench. Owen Mathis, number 12, comes in to replace him. As Fannin's going to play for the last shot of the quarter here, down nine. Blotch to Richardson, right wing. He's covered by Stevie Dallas. It's a screen on his left. Now he pulls up for three. And hits the front of the rim, no good. Chase Allen gets the rebound, and that's going to do it for the first quarter. A good start for the model offense. They came out quick and came out hitting from distance as well, and they've built a nine-point lead, 20-11. to 11. We'll take a one-minute break and come right back. You're watching Model High School Basketball here on Northwest Georgia Media. here at Woodard Gymnasium. Jeff Gable with you courtside. The entire Northwest Georgia media team as Model inbounds the ball with a nine-point lead. And they're going to say a foul right away for Model on Thomas Patterson who just came in the game. And so Fannin County will get the ball here as Jordan Richardson walks it up. Chapman, Dallas, 
Patterson, Mathis, and Allen are your five for model on the floor. Blotch pulls up for a three-pointer, fading away, good. And Ben Blotch hits a three. And underneath, Patterson gets a basket. And so Patterson builds the lead up to 22-14. Models played really good defense and really not given Fannin County too many open looks tonight. Fannin County's hit a couple of tough jumpers, but not a lot of wide open looks for them at all. Blotch tries to drive and steps on the baseline. Oh, no, they're going to call a foul on Dallas. I guess said that he kind of hip checked him a little bit. So Steve Dallas picks up his first foul. Travis checks back in for Dallas, so that's good that he seems to be all right. Hudson Ethington going to trigger it in for the Rebels. Underneath to Angel, blocked by Chase Allen, and Noah Travis comes out with a loose ball. He drives, reverse layup, no good, but Chase Allen gets the rebound and puts it in. And Chase Allen putting together a really good game, and it's a 10-point lead, 24-14. As Angel, free throw line jumper, no good. Patterson gets the rebound, and Noah Travis brings it up quickly for the Blue Devils. <clears throat> Blue Devils, excuse me. Mathis now with the ball. Finds Chase Allen, almost lost the handle, but he keeps it. Now back to Mathis. Shot clock at 18. Model with a 10-point lead, 24-14. Riley Chapman looks underneath for Patterson. Now gets it to him on the block. Patterson back to Riley. He fires up a three, baseline, no good. Rebounded by Richardson, and Fannin County is going to try to bring it up with some pace. Richardson makes a nice move. Running jumper, no good. Chase Allen grabs the loose ball. And Travis brings it up court. Gets a high screen from Allen. Now kicks it out to Chapman. Now to Patterson. Model likes to work it around the perimeter and find just the right time to go inside. And they're going to say Chase Allen traveled with it. Heard Dallas. And number 10, John Mason come in for a model. Blotch brings it up for Fannin County here. They're on a high post down low to Richardson. They're going to say he got fouled, I believe, by Chapman. They're going to say he reached in. That's Riley's first foul. Richardson inbounds it to Gribble, now to Blotch. Blotch pass to Richardson too high in the corner. Try to jump pass, and those aren't always the most accurate. And so it's a turnover. And Motto brings it up. Dallas is going to run the point here. Chapman and Mason on the left side. Now to Mathis, top of the circle, wants to drive. Spins in the lane in some trouble. Gives it up to Mason, and Mason makes a nice driving layup. Mason's first bucket of the game, and it's a 12-point lead, 26-14. High screen for Richardson. Pulls up for a jump shot, no good. Jeremiah Hurd collects the rebound. Outlet pass to Riley Chapman. Now to Dallas. Chapman top of the circle, looks inside, just lost the handle. It goes right into Richardson's hands. Now there's a, looked like a travel, but it wasn't called, and said Colton Kaler gets the layup. I thought he picked up and, and kind of drug that foot there. But as it is, it's a 10-point game now, 26-16, as Jack Sparks checks in for the Rebels. And Dallas has the ball for model. Gets it to Denson. Gives it to Hurd in the post. Turns, little hook shot is good. You can't really stop that if you're Fannin County because you don't have anybody 6'8". 12-point lead again, 28-16. As a long three-pointer from the right wing is good by Colton Kaler. Denson with it for model as they work around the perimeter. Mason 
Thought about driving, said kicks it back out to Dallas, shoots a long three, and it's good. As Steve Dallas checks in from distance. His second three of the game. Now a three-pointer for Fanning County, misses everything. And it'll be model ball. Mason will inbound it here along the baseline. First, Travis is going to sub in for Riley Chapman. Riley's a fun guy to watch in football and in basketball. He always hustles. He's always quick. He was one of Jeff Honeycutt's best defenders in football just because of his football savvy, great closing speed. He was a good tackler. Fun athlete to watch here at Model. As Stevie Dallas turns around in the lane is good. A little turnaround jumper there. Makes it a 33-19 game. Kaler in the post. Now feeds it out to Blotch in the lane. Shot it over Jeremiah's Hurd. Give him credit. He got that one to go. Long, long shot by Denson is no good. Tipped out of bounds by Model, so it will go back to the Rebels. Just under three to go here before halftime. Model with a comfortable 12-point lead, 33-21. Blotch kicks it over to Sparks. Bounce pass to Richardson, now to Gribble. Thought about going up against Jeremiah Surd, then thought better of it. Blotch now drives over to Gribble, and his shot is good. His second bucket of the night. And it is a 10-point game, 33-23. Allen in the corner, now to Dallas. Now Noah feeds Jeremiah's hurt in the post. Bounce pass out to Travis. Couple of juke moves. Shoots a three, no good. Rebound collected by Richardson. Model changing up a little bit. Now it looks like they're playing a little bit of a zone. And Jeremiah's hurt. Alter that shot. Didn't block it, but he made Sparks shoot it short. Gribble comes up with a rebound, and he traveled. Sparks went in for that little short jumper in the lane. Saw 6'8 Jeremiah's looming at him, and he just left it short. Kind of one hand pushed it up a little bit. That was not the shot he wanted to take. 150 on the clock as Model's Dallas brings it across half court. Feeds it to Jeremiah at the three-point line. Now Travis drives for the layup. It got fouled from behind. He'll go to the line and shoot two. Foul's going to be on Matthew Ponson, sophomore guard. This will be his first trip to the line. First one is good. And he'll get one more. Second one is good. I'll have to ask Jacob sometime how uh, Noah wound up as a lefty, because I don't think Jacob is a lefty. 12-point game now, 35-23. As Blotch has it, they look to Kaler, and he hits a jumper. Back quickly the other way is Allen, and he got fouled. And I believe he'll go to the line here. Gribble picks up the foul, his first. It's a 10-point game, still a 10-point game as Allen misses the first one. He'll get one more. Chase Allen played a lot of valuable minutes last year as a sophomore off the bench. This year he's worked into a starting role and has flourished as he hits the second free throw. And makes it 36-25. He's got some size, too, for the post. Six foot six. Gribble feeds it out to Blotch. Tried to drive, but no room there. Feeds it back underneath to Gribble. And he wants to shoot it, and he got fouled by Hurd. I think Hurd got more ball than body, but they called the foul. So that's going to be Jeremiah's, I believe, his 
first foul, and that'll put Cole Gribble at the line. Gribble's first trip to the line. And the first free throw is good. He's the biggest guy on the, uh, well, he and Colton Kaler are both listed at 6'5", but it's hard for them to match up with Jeremiah's hurt at 6'8". Loose ball in the lane, and Blotch comes up with it. So it's a 10-point game. Back the other way, a three-pointer for Fannin County. No good. Allen gets the rebound in some trouble, but he finds Noah Travis. Fannin tried to apply some pressure there and create a turnover, but they couldn't do it. Mata with the ball now as Denson feeds it into Hurd in the post. Now he steps out along the baseline. He finds Dallas. His model works it around the perimeter. 35 seconds to go before the half. Allen drives. His shot didn't go in, but he drew a foul. And I believe it's going to be on Colton Kaler, number 23. And it is. It's going to be his first, so that'll put Allen at the line. First free throw is good. He's two out of three so far on the night. Second free throw off the front of the rim, no good. So it's 37-26, an 11-point game with 26 seconds to go, and Fannin looks like they're going to play for the last shot. They feed it under to Gribble, and Hurd altered that shot, but Gribble got the offensive rebound. His second shot won't go, and finally the third shot by Kaler does go in. It's 37-28 as Model's going to get the last shot here with three seconds left. Dallas has the ball. He fires up a three, just misses, and that will be it for the first half of play as Model has a nine-point lead. It was 12 on several occasions, but Fannin County got a little closer there late in the quarter, and Model heads to the locker room with a 37-28 lead. Well, we will take a break here. Let's take about a one-minute break. We'll add up the scoring of the first half. And uh, we'll have a little bit more information about this one. We'll take a one-minute break. You're watching Model High School Basketball here on Northwest Georgia Media. Here at Woodard Gymnasium, Jeff Gable with you courtside as the Model Blue Devils have built a 37-28 lead on the Fanning County Rebels. It looked like they might pull away early, but Fanning County did have a nice rally there late in the quarter. And uh, they were able to cut it to nine. So uh, that's your score at the half. Uh, leading score for the Blue Devils is Chase Allen, who's had a great night. He's got 12 points so far. Uh, Stevie Dallas has uh, eight points, and uh, Jeremiah's Hurd has six. Those are your model Blue Devils leading scores for Fannin County. I believe I'm missing one basket, but I know that uh, Ben Blotch has 10 points, including a couple of three-pointers. He's the leading scorer for the Fannin County Rebels. Again, we'll be back here this Friday night as model host Murray County. 
That game will be a Friday night, typical Friday night start, which is a 7 o'clock boys game and an 8.30 boys game here on Northwest Georgia Media. So Model gets a good little stretch of three home games here in a week uh, to kind of get their feet under them a little bit. Uh, again, they only played a couple of games uh, to start the season on the road as they were working some football guys back in the, uh, the rotation. And so this, uh, if they win tonight, they'll be 500 at 2-2. Two and two. And again, another big uh, Region 7AA game coming up on Friday against Murray County. We want to definitely thank all of our Northwest Georgia media crew, too, for the great work they're doing here tonight. Our cameras tonight are run by Zane Nicholson and Caleb Bice, Jesse Vitello and Alyssa Laney. Our director tonight is the always on top of things Mike Garrett, and the replay is run tonight by our faithful leader, Nathan Patterson. Uh, also, Grayson Atkins does the PA announcing here at Model Games. He does a great job with that. Uh, it's a great crew to work with, and uh, we appreciate you guys joining us, and uh, we appreciate you also uh, saying thank you to all of our sponsors uh, that help us put these games on this year. Uh, the Northwest Georgia media team does a great job putting all this together with the production. That's the hard part. My job is the easy part, just calling the game. Uh, but all the production work that these guys do, they do a great job, and we couldn't do it without our great sponsors. We want to, again, thank them, Athos Trailer and Equipment, Georgia Highlands College. I'm old enough to remember back when that was called Floyd College uh, many years ago. Uh, Snodgrass and Robinson Plastic Surgery Specialists, WC Timber, Dogwood Books, Shannon Pharmacy right here close to Model High School, and Crestview Angus. So we want to thank all of them for all of their sponsorship and help uh, putting these broadcasts on this year. It is fun for us to do, and uh, we appreciate you guys partnering with us. And this is a special thing that a lot of high schools across the state of Georgia don't have is live YouTube broadcasts of their games that their family and friends can go back and see later. Or if you've got a family member somewhere, you can have an uncle or an aunt or a grandma and grandpa in Missoula, Montana, and they can watch this game on Northwest Georgia Media and follow uh, their favorite player here at Model High School. So we appreciate all of our business sponsors and our great crew. Thank you guys for what you do. Uh, you make this look very good. So again, Model leads here at halftime, 37 to 28. Tell you what, let's take about a four minute break and when we come back, that'll be just about time to start the second half here uh, at Model High School Witter Gymnasium. 37-28 Model leads, back in four minutes, you're watching Model High School basketball here on Northwest Georgia Media. Northwest Georgia Media would like to say thank you to the following sponsors. Mathis Trailer and Equipment, Georgia Highlands College, Snodgrass and Robinson Plastic Surgery Specialists, WC Timber, Dogwood Books, Shannon Pharmacy, and Crestview Angus. Thank you to all our sponsors for making this broadcast possible. You look exhausted. Dude, my to-do list got the best of me. I finally sharpened the blade, trimmed the yard, raked the leaves, and then I mowed. Yeah, me too. Get out. You're not even breaking a sweat. I know. My grasshopper trimmed around the yard, power back the leaves, and then mowed. I did all of it without leaving my seat. I gotta get a grasshopper. Finish fall cleanup and be ready for winter with a grasshopper mower. Here we go again. Crestview Angus, your source for premium locally raised beef, delivering the finest quality from farm to table. Contact them on Facebook to place your order today. They call it Mo Day, a time of fanfare and pride, and another week with the neighborhood's best yard, because you drafted the MVP of all mowers. A comfortable seat and adjustable controls bring the battle to your turf, not your backside. Ride like the wind on your solid steel stallion and give the fans something to cheer about, because it's your day, it's Mo Day.
WC Timber has been serving the Northwest Georgia and Northeast Alabama area since 1991. As a complete tree and timber service, WC Timber can handle thinning and clear cutting, tree chipping, stump removal, and storm damage, as well as bucket truck and crane services. For more information, visit them on the web at wctimber.com or give them a call at area code 706-238-1214. WC Timber and Tree Service. Access to me means I get to explore and define myself. Access that allows me to follow my passion. For me, it means I get to do what I've always dreamed of doing, helping people. Access to me means I'm the first one in my family to come to college. Sé el primero. At Northwest Georgia Media, we're all about capturing the moments that matter to you. From sports to arts, from concerts to business events, we're equipped to share what's happening in your world, live and in high definition. We leverage cutting edge technology and a knowledgeable crew to see that your most unforgettable events remain just that, unforgettable. Northwest Georgia Media, where the world is your audience. now going from right to left, trailing by nine. Blotch drives for the Rebels. His jumper in the lane, no good, loose ball, and Chase Allen comes up with it. Again, a good start for Chase tonight. 12 points to lead all scores. He feeds Hurd in the post. Hurd turns left-handed, good. Hard to stop when he gets on the low block like that. He is a load at 6'8 and 260, 270, something like that. Three-pointer by Blotch is missed, and Model comes up with a rebound. Jeremiah works it over to Chapman in the corner. They go back to Jeremiah, right back to Riley. Now they work around the perimeter, and Allen drives, gets fouled. He wanted that shot to go, but he will get two free throws out of it. Colton Kaler picks up the foul. And Allen's first free throw is missed. He'll get one more. That's the second foul, by the way, on Colton Kaler. I don't think anybody from Modelton foul trouble. I don't think anybody has more than one. Second free throw by Allen is good. And it is 40 to 28. Kaler has it stolen right out of his hands by Allen. Bounce pass to Dallas. He drives, lays it up good. Nice defense by Allen. Here's a drive as blocked by Jeremiah's herd. Ben Blotch tried to go inside. And Jeremiah's deposited that way over by the doors to the gymnasium. So Fanning County will inbound it. Even if he just gets one or two of those blocks a game, 
lot of times he can deter guys from trying to drive in the lane and they'll take some altered shots. That's what that size in the post can do for you. As Blotch drives, kicks it out to Kaler. His three-pointer front of the rim, no good. And Hurd grabs the rebound. Long outlet pass to Allen, but it's stolen away by Ponton. Good steal by him, but Model gets it right back as Dallas has it. He gets it to Allen, who he was double teamed for a second, but he found Allen, now gets it to Travis. Allen bobbled it a little bit and traveled with it in the lane. He couldn't quite find the handle and had drugged that back foot by the time he got control. Now the other way, Richardson fires up a three. High arcing, no good, loose ball. Dallas has it. He stayed in bounds, and now he brings it up the court. Gets a high screen, drives. His shot is blocked by Blotch. Came from behind and swatted that one away. As Model makes a sub, Bryson Denson and Thomas Patterson come in the game for the Blue Devils. 42-28, 14 point lead. As Gribble comes in, back in for Fanning County. Dallas triggers it into Allen. Turns, makes a nice pivot, and lays it up left-handed good. Nice move by Chase Allen. He's put together a really good game tonight. He had 12 at halftime, he's got three more, so 15 in the game. Three-point shot outside is missed by Fanning County. That was Ponton. And the loose ball caromed out of bounds. So it'll go to Model here on the sideline. Dallas feeds it to Allen. Now back to Dallas around the three-point line. He gives it up to Denson who drives. Kicks it out to Chapman in the corner. Almost lost the handle, but he saved it. Now Allen winds up with it. Shake and bake move, turns in the lane, jumper is good. Chase Allen having a heck of a game. 46-28, 18 point lead for the Blue Devils. Richardson, his one-handed running jumper, no good. Loose ball, they fight for it in the lane. Fanning County winds up with it. Blotch has it, and his pass underneath to Angel sails by everybody. And so it'll be a turnover, and Model gets the ball back. John Mason and Owen Mathis check back in for the Devils. So one good thing for Jacob Travis is these last couple of games, he's been able to substitute liberally and really not have a drop off from his starting rotation. And guys also, some bench guys get some valuable minutes here early in the season and the starters don't have to log too many minutes. You want as fresh as can be by the time February gets here and you're in the teeth of your region schedule and getting into your region tournament. Riley Chapman gives it off to Mason who drives, pulls back, gives it to Denson. In the corner to Chapman, he fires a three, front of the rim, no good, loose ball bounces around and eventually Richardson collects it for the Rebels. We approach the four minute mark of the third quarter, Model still with that 18 point cushion. Richardson drives, almost lost his balance, somehow gets by Chapman and lays it up. Nice move by Jordan Richardson. And it's 46-30. Mason with it, gives it up to Denson. Long three-pointer missed by Mathis and Fanning County comes out with the ball. Richardson has it. Chapman right there on him, just outside the three-point lane. He gets a high screen, Richardson drives, puts it up off the glass, good. That was a tough shot, give Jordan Richardson credit. Sophomore guard, son of coach Brian Richardson. And so with the 332 mark, he'll go to the line and try to convert the three-point play. It's a 14 point lead now, he's gonna try to make it 13. And free throw is good, so he does just that. Richardson now has nine points on the game. And John Mason drives quickly and lays it up. Lead back to 15, 48, 33. 
Angel in the lane, turns around off the post. No good, that bank shot. Chase Allen collects the rebound. Mason gives it up to Travis. Now he gets a high screen. Noah drives. Almost lost the handle. He kept it alive, gave it to Mason. Three-point shot is no good. Let's see if it was a three or was his foot on the line. Let's see. Matthew Ponton picks up the foul. And John Mason yet yeah, is going to be three free throws. Here at the 303 mark. First free throw is no good. He's got two more coming. Second one hits nothing but net. And Hurd checks back in from Model, replacing Thomas Patterson. Mason's last free throw hits the rim, but does go in. So he hits two out of three. And it's a 17 point advantage, 50 to 33. Richardson has it to Ethington. Gives it back to Richardson, his jumper no good. Chase Allen gets the rebound. Noah Travis got the outlet pass, in some trouble. He got double teamed in the corner. Blotch almost stole it, but it goes off his hands out of bounds. So model will keep possession here. Travis gets it across half court. Now to Jeremiah's hurt at the free throw line. Sets the screen, gives it off to Mason. Now Mason thought about driving out to Denson. Shot clock down to 10 as Travis fires up a three. Front of the rim, no good. Rebounded by Ethington for Fanning County. He gives it up to Richardson. Thought about a three, didn't take it. Instead gives it up to Blotch. Kicks it in the corner, and there's a foul on Allen as he just couldn't quite get out of the way as Hudson Ethington tried to drive. Uh, uh, Dallas now comes in for John Mason. And Fannin County works it around the perimeter here. There's a screen there that they called an illegal screen. That's going to be on Isaiah Angel. So Model will get the ball back. I believe that's Angel's first foul. And there's the whistle. I don't know if it was a shot clock violation or not. Let's see. I don't know what that was. So they'll inbound it again here. And we're at the two minute mark of the third quarter. Model still up by 17, 50 to 33. Hurd to Dallas. Now get back to Hurd on the high block. He drives hard, got fouled. Tried to turn the corner there into the lane and a couple of Fanning County defenders were there. He tried to power through him, but he drew the foul. So he will go to the line and shoot two. He's got eight points so far tonight. First free throw was good. Second one is good as well, and it's a 19-point lead for the Blue Devils. Jeremiah has got a good free throw stroke for being a big guy. So if teams think they can maybe foul him and do the hack-a-shack and take advantage of that, it's going to be tough to do because he's a good free throw shooter. Angel down around the block, tries to turn, nothing there, gives it up to Ethington. His drive, short little pull-up jumper, misses, no good. Denson pulls down the rebound for Model and brings it up court quickly. Gets it to Travis. He fires up a three, no good, rebounded by Allen. And he's going to go back up with it and hits it. He has got the touch tonight. He is having a heck of a game. And Model's up 21, 54, 33. Richardson now tries to set up. He wants to drive on Denson, but he kicks it out to Blotch. Spins in the lane, kicks it out in the corner. Ponton up to Richardson. He fires up a three. 
Doesn't hit anything. Blotch gets the rebound. His baseline shot is no good. And Travis comes up with a rebound. Dallas now with it. He drives in the lane. Little loop-de-loop -loop layup is good. And Dallas increases the model lead. That ball's out of bounds. It'll stay Fannin County basketball with 24 seconds to go. And Model has pulled away here. Fannin County has only scored five points in this quarter. Richardson pulls up for a short jumper, misses. Jeremiah Hurd grabs the rebound, gives it up to Dallas. 18 seconds to go in the quarter. He drives, gives it off to Allen. Nice give and go. And Allen gets another one. 58-33, model up by 25. Ethington fires up a three, good, and he hits it as the third quarter comes to a close. And Fanning County struggling on offense there and watched model build this lead bigger and bigger and bigger as we head to the fourth quarter. It's a 22-point lead, 58-36. We'll take a one-minute break and come back for your fourth quarter of action. You're watching model high school basketball here on Northwest Georgia Media. Northwest Georgia Media would like to say thank you to the following sponsors. Mathis Trailer and Equipment, Georgia Highlands College, Snodgrass and Robinson, Plastic Surgery Specialists, WC Timber, Dogwood Books, Shannon Pharmacy, and Crestview Angus. Thank you to all our sponsors for making this broadcast possible. Back here at Woodard Gymnasium, we start the fourth quarter, just like we ended the third quarter with a Chase Hallen bucket. He is having an outstanding night, leads all scores, and he builds the lead up to 60 to 36. Ponton tries to drive for Fanning County, gives it up to Blotch. High arcing shot off the glass, good. And give him credit, he had to sky for that one. And he got it to go. Model probably a couple of minutes away here from getting some of these starters some rest and putting in some substitutes as Allen again in the lane. Keep feeding the beast, man. He is doing a great job down there in the paint. 62-38. Richardson drives, running one-hander good for Fannin. And it is 62-40. Back the other way. Jeremiah's heard almost a dunk, not quite a dunk. He just pretty much lays it in. Couldn't quite get up there to slam it. Ponce on the other way, takes a jumper, no good. Allen grabs the rebound. He's got to have double-digit rebounds as well. Jeremiah's heard, fires up a three, and he hits it. The big guy from distance. And it's a 66-40 lead. He's got range from three-point range, and we know that. <laughs> Might be the only one he shoots this year. I guess he shot one earlier tonight, so... There's an outside shot by Fannin County. Kaler no good. Ball tipped out of bounds by the Rebels. It'll go back to model as Patterson comes in for Jeremiah's herd. That might be, his work might be done for the night. 6-10 to go in the game. Try to add up what Chase Allen has here. 25 points by my count. His three-pointer is missed, no good. Patterson fights for the rebound, and Blotch comes up with it, though, for the Rebels. Ponton fires it down court to Gribble, and Fennin County wants to score in a hurry, try to get back in it. As Ponton drives, layup, no good, but he drew the foul against Owen Mathis. So that will put Ponton at the line.
First free throw is off the front of the rim, no good. He'll get one more. I don't have him scoring yet in the game, so he's still looking for his first point. Second one misses, Allen gets the rebound. And a foul on Angel as he went over Chase Allen's back. Five forty-five left as Model breaks the pressure by Fanning County very quickly. Patterson gets it up the floor to Dallas, but it got tipped out of bounds by the Rebels. I believe that was Pompton who got his hands on it. And Dallas will inbound it for the Devils here. 26-point lead for Model. So he gets it into Allen. Spin move in the lane. Again, another spin move, and they're going to say traveled and picked up his pivot foot. So the ball will go back to Fanning County. Blotch tries to drive, gives it up to Richardson. Running jumper is good. That's kind of his shot. He's done that several times tonight, kind of that running jumper. And they're going to say Ponton has a foul on the sideline there. So Model will inbound it right there in front of the scorer's table. As Chapman and Mathis come out. Travis and Denson come back in. Chase Allen faked a three, gives it over to Denson instead on the right wing. Travis looks for somebody, finds Allen. Top of the key, three-point line, tries to bounce it into Patterson, and Fannin County tips that one away. Ponton comes up with it. Richardson has it. His layup is good. He's got 14 on the night, 15, excuse me. That shot is off the mark. Richardson gets the rebound for Fannin County, and the Rebels try to run. They're down 22. They give it up to Gribble, drives, and somehow gets it to go. And it's back to a 20-point deficit, 40, excuse me, 66-46. As Travis drives, gets it blocked by Angel. Fannin County on the run out as it's tipped away, and Travis comes up with the ball and lays it in. His first bucket of the second half. He's got nine in the game. Ponton drives, gives it over to Richardson, takes a long three off the rim, no good. Denson collects the rebound for the doubles. Under halfway left in the fourth quarter, 345, modeled with that comfortable 22-point lead. Patterson gives it up to Travis. They look for Patterson in the block. They get it to him. A little bit low pass, though, and it gets away from him, and Fannin County comes out on the run. Richardson drives. Chase Allen got just enough of that to alter the shot, and back the other way come the Devils. Dallas with the ball. Short little running jumper won't go. Gribble grabs the rebound for the Rebels. Back the other way. Richardson very quickly, and Allen got a piece of that, and the rebound shot didn't go. Travis comes out of the pile with it. Denson drives, layup is good. <laughs> 70 to 46, 24 point lead for Model. Richardson has it, drives, tries to draw some contact on Patterson, doesn't get the contact, but he does get the basket. And he's been about all the offense that Fanning County's had this second half. Just his running, driving layups, that's about all that, it, that they've been able to manufacture. Really impressed with Chase Allen so far tonight. He's had a heck of a game, 20, what do we have, 25, right? 13 plus 12, 25 in the game. And he probably has just from you know, the looking at the game without keeping the rebounding stats. I bet he's got double-digit rebounds as well. He's got at least 10, if not more. 
so he's had a very productive night. And if he has that kind of night sometime, that frees up models of other scores. Travis from the outside, Jeremiah's heard on the block. Stevie Dallas can hit from range. Bryson Denson has had some impressive offensive games so far this year, so it's hard to defend this model team and key on and take away just one guy. You can't key on one guy. You have to watch everybody that comes on the floor as Denson gets it across half court. He finds Mason. He drives off the glass. Good. Mason's got six in the game. Long three-pointer by Ethington, and he hits it. And it's 72-51. Patterson shot partially blocked by Angel, and the Rebels come up with a ball. Watch for Fanning County. Drives, runs into Mason, and they're going to say a charge. Mason drew the charge. Jacob Travis, before the game, was saying, we've only drawn a couple this year. I want our guys to be able to Draw some more charges on defense, and good positioning there by Mason did just that. And Motto's going to send a couple of guys in. So Dominic Fraley comes in the game. Bryson Bell comes in the game. Back the other way. For a model, Mason has it. Bryson Bell, Braden Marshall in the game. Denson shot misses. Back the other way comes Fanning County. Ippington shot is no good. Putback is no good. And model gets the rebounds, Dominic Fraley. Bryson Bell gives it up to Denson. We're under 90 seconds now left in the game. Model with a big 21 point lead. Bell thought about a shot, now he takes it. Misses, loose ball on the rebound. Fraley couldn't quite collect it. Ethington has it and is tipped out of bounds by Denson. Well, Mathis comes back in the game. And also Charles Calhoun. Max Couch, by the way, also in the game for model. So a lot of guys getting some uh, minutes in the scorebook here as we wind down to a minute left. Ponson takes a three, no good. Rebounded by Fraley. And Couch comes up with it. Pass by Marshall is out of bounds. So it'll go back to Fanning County with 53 and a half seconds to go. Shot at the top of the circle by Fanning County's Keaton Watkins is missed. And they do get a bucket there with 38 seconds to go. And it's 72-53 as we wind down the final 31 seconds or so. Model is going to improve to 2-2 two and two on the year overall. After two losses to start, they've kind of righted the ship. Couch pulls up for three, no good. And the ball off of one of the Fan County defenders. I believe that was Ponson. So it'll go back to Model here with 18 seconds left. Bryson Bell inbounds it to Calhoun. Calhoun drives, goes up, off the glass, good. So Charles Calhoun makes it 74-53. Fannin County's gonna get one last shot, it looks like, and they do not. In the lane, they couldn't find the handle, and by the time they got it out to one of the guards, the buzzer had sounded, and that's gonna do it as Model pulls away in the second half. 74 to 53. They pick up a big seven double A win here at Woodard Gymnasium and improve their overall record to two and two. Fannin County falls to two and two. They've uh, now they're now one and one in the region. Model is also one and one in the region here in seven double A. Another region game coming up on Friday night as the Murray County Indians come to town. They will be here 
for a Friday doubleheader. Remember, that's a typical Friday night start, which means an hour later, a 7 o'clock game for the girls' tip, followed around 8.30 by the boys' game. And we'll see if Model can keep this hot streak alive and keep this offense clicking like it has. Uh, just a quick look at the score, and Chase Allen led all scores for Model with 25. And uh, Jordan Richardson for Fanning County was their leading scorer with it looks like 16 in the game, or 17, excuse me, in the game. And uh, that's gonna do it for us. So again, we wanna thank all of our outstanding sponsors for all of their help. Again, we couldn't do this without them. Uh, and it's a, uh, it's a big part of what we do as our fantastic business sponsors. Again, we wanna thank Mathis Trailer and Equipment, Georgia Highlands College, Snodgrass and Robinson Plastic Surgery Specialist, WC Timber, Dogwood Book, Shannon Pharmacy, and Crestview Angus. Uh, and we also want to say thank you to our great Northwest Georgia media crew. Uh, Zane Nicholson, Caleb Bice, Jesse Vitello, Alyssa Laney, Mike Garrett, and Nathan Patterson. So once again, your final score here from Woodard Gymnasium at Model High School. Blue Devils win it 74-53 over Fanning County. And we will see you on Friday night. So again, for the entire crew, this is Jeff Gable saying good night from Model High School. You've been watching Model Basketball here on Northwest Georgia Media. Northwest Open.